Have you ever known the fear of sailing on a ship amidst a storm? The help of saints is often invoked in situations like these. One holy woman, Saint Mary of Cervellon, was known to miraculously guide certain ships to safety in the midst of storms. While still alive, this 13th century saint was known to have the gift of bilocation and was seen walking in the midst of the waves of rough seas, guiding ships to safety. Such ships held captives that were ransomed by friars of the Mercedarian order, of which Saint Mary was associated. Mary of Cervellon was born in Barcelona, Spain, in 1230. The Mercedarian friars in those days redeemed captives from the hands of the Saracens. In Barcelona, there was talk about the works of charity, the growing needs of the friars in financing these redemptions, and maintaining the hospital of St. Eulalia, where the ransom stayed and recovered in the seaside city. Early on, Mary's family had ambitious plans for her. They tried several times to marry her to prominent men so as to strengthen family alliances. However, Mary's heart belonged to another, and she refused every offer. She had become the Bride of Christ, the Redeemer, and would spend her life in service to her spouse, who was in the guise of the captive, the wounded, the sick, and the needy. She consecrated herself to God in the order of the Blessed Virgin Mary of Mercy on May 25, 1265, together with other women from Barcelona. Mary was one of the succession of women who formed the women's branch of the Order of Mercy. This saint founded the Second Order of Mercedarians, or the Contemplatives, and convinced others to follow her path. The Mercedarian sisters were not originally formed as a contemplative family, that is, cloistered nuns, but their life was centered on prayer. They gathered in fellowship to live out the Lord's command, there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. Ever since she heard a stirring sermon preached by Father Bernardo de Corbera, who pleaded for help for the Christians held captive by Muslims, Mary's heart was set on fire with charity toward the abandoned. From that point on, she resolved to do all in her power for their alleviation. The Mercedarian friars could be valiant and daring, but women of that day were expected to be submissive and obedient. However, human customs are no match for divine charity. A love of God and others urges us on, out of our selfishness. Today, the Mercedarian sisters, both active and contemplative, continue to live amid the Church with a face of mercy, charity, goodness, of welcoming hands, and of redemptive enthusiasm. Mary died in 1290, and her feast is September 19th. She was canonized in 1694. Today, she is invoked against shipwrecks, because of her charity, she is called Maria de Socos, or Mary of Help. She is the patron of Mercedarian nuns and sisters, navigators, and of the abandoned. Her incorrupt body rests in a side altar at the Mercedarian Mother Church, the Basilica of Mercy, known simply as La Merced. Let us pray. O wondrous Virgin and example of contemplation, Saint Mary of Cervellon, your watchful protection has never failed those at sea, and your miraculous assistance has overcome the most horrendous storms. Come to our aid in the dangers and the upheavals of life. Obtain for us true Christian sensitivity for those who are victims of chains and sufferings, which weigh down all in body and spirit. As you followed St. Peter Nolasco in the spirit of redemption, intercede for our neediest brothers and sisters that they may remain steadfast in their faith and not despair. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Men, are you hearing our Lord's call to rescue others from modern forms of captivity, such as social, political, and psychological forms? Become a Mercedarian friar. Rescue those who are being taken away to death. Hold back those who are stumbling to the slaughter. Thank mm -hmm. you.